Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to lay out my bills for the month of April. And we're gonna go ahead and knock out April budget number one. So if you're interested, then keep watching. Okay, first, let me just say, please excuse these light spots. I'm currently sitting in front of um, my window and so you know sometimes i try to get the natural lighting coming in but these like these um spots are coming from my blinds so don't mind that um okay so let's go ahead and lay down my paydays um you guys know i get paid every first and the 15th because i am military so on my usual payday, well, like I said, the first and fifteenth, but I actually see my checks um like the day before. So I'm gonna go ahead and annotate that as such. And this sticker just got all kind of stuff on it. Y'all, it's just all jacked up, but we're gonna continue on working with it. And then um 15th, so the 14th, I see that check. There we go. Uh, anyways, we're going to keep going. Um, Netflix. So Netflix is my first bill that comes out in the month. And that normally comes out on the 3rd. So we're just going to put that in the middle just like we did last month. And let's see. Netflix. And my Netflix is... 973. All right. The next bill we have is my mortgage. And usually my mortgage comes out on the 5th and we're going to do the next business day. So here on the 6th on Monday, we'll go ahead and put my mortgage. And for the month, that is $17.24. Now, we have my AMC. Actually, no. Okay, so usually my AMC is a bill that usually comes out on the 10th. However, due to this coronavirus, and by the way, I hope everyone is safe. I hope you and your family and friends are all safe from that. But... Because of that, they have suspended everyone's membership. So this month, I'm not going to worry about budgeting for AMC. So we're going to go to the next bill, which comes out on the 11th usually, or scheduled to come out. That's my American Home Shield. So again, we're going to do the next business day. So let's see, the 13th. Uh, I'm gonna kind of put this here on the side because I have another bill coming out on the 13th as well. So American Home Shield, and that is $44.99. And then my Sling TV is scheduled to become is still scheduled to come out on the 13th as well. So Sling TV. And then my Sling TV is $39.64. All right, what we got next? Next we have the car insurance and that comes out on the 15th. And my car insurance, one fifteen twenty. Then we have my JA. And let's see, JA normally comes out on the 25th. So again, next business day. Um, let's see, actually here, I'll put it up here. So um, what was this? This was the JA, okay. Actually, okay. I got that mixed up. I do have a bill coming out here, but Jay actually comes out on the 22nd. See, I'm glad I called that. I almost messed up everything. So J-E-A. And uh, let's see. I'm a budget for... Okay, I was actually trying to check to see if my bill posted. 
And it hasn't posted yet. It's actually kind of late, which is um, interesting, actually. So, okay. Now I'll, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to have to guess on this because I don't know the actual, um, I don't know my actual amount yet. So when I actually do, because um, Jay comes out the second half of the month. So when I actually do my um, budget number two, budget for paycheck number two, then I will have the actual amount for my JA. But for right now, I'm just going to put 125. Okay. Now the next one is my cell phone, which was is supposed to come out on the 25th. And so next business day, I'm just going to put it here for the 27th. And then my cell phone, I am going to budget for $75 which is cheaper than what it's normally been. Uh, as you guys can see, last month, it had everything had definitely kicked in, my discount and everything. And so, um, but I'm not quite sure what the exact amount gonna be every month. So I'm just gonna budget 75 until, um, and, and just keep checking every month to see what the actual amount's gonna be. And then I have my, uh, epidemic sounds and that comes out on the 26th so again the next billing day uh 27th and i hope you guys can see this um good i know it's kind of low down here so epidemic and that is 15 dollars and then i have my adt which is supposed to come out on the 27th too. Um, and you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and just add it on here as well. ADT. And my ADT is 56.70. And my internet. So now, um, you guys, so I ran, I ran out of stickers, right? I knew this was gonna happen and it's okay. So my internet comes supposed to come out on the thirtieth. So we're just gonna write that in because it is okay. Internet and that is fifty dollars. All right, boom. So that's good to go. Um, I don't have anything out of the ordinary that's coming out. Um, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'm going to go into further details when I do my, um, when I get into paycheck number one. So let's just write my debts down. So we have Go Rewards, which is what I normally budget for every month. Um, you guys... No, I have two debts. One I actually budget for and the other one I don't. However, this month in April, oh, you guys, I need to pay, I need to um, pay off an expense that I use my Amazon card for. And I know, you guys, I, I'm going to explain what happened but uh, no, I didn't buy anything from Amazon. I just had to use my Amazon card, which is a visa, to pay for an unexpected expense. But like I said, I'm going to get into that here in a little bit. But other than that, um, that's it, you guys. This is my layout. So let's go ahead and get into paycheck number one. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so paycheck. And I hope this color's picking up, um, picking up okay on the camera. So paycheck number one. And then I have my bills, budget. Actual plus 
minus over there. And then let's see, for bills, I have my mortgage. Because like you guys already know, I always split my mortgage up in half. So my mortgage, my American Home Shield, my Sling TV, um, I'm just going to go ahead and write it down, AMC, and then my Netflix, and total. All right, and then I have my cash envelopes. And I have um, my grocery category, my gas for my car, mm, entertainment, and uh, my toiletries. All right, and my total. All right, and now have my debts. Um, my go rewards. And my Amazon. Okay, oh, and let me put total. Oh, and then my budget. I always forget to write my budget and actual in my debt category. I don't know why. Okay, now let me go ahead and draw my lines. Paycheck number one, I'm working with $2,390.78. Okay, now my mortgage is the usual $862. American Home Shield, we already know what that is, $44.99. Sling, we already know that's $39.64. AMC, not budgeting anything for AMC this month because they suspended uh, my account due to the coronavirus. Netflix is 973. Okay, let's see how much this is. So 862 plus 44.99 plus 39.64 plus 9. 73. So that is 956.36. All right. And now we have a uh, cash envelope. So I'll always take out 300 for groceries, gas 160, and that's been working out perfect for me actually. Because it's pretty much budgeting $40 a week. And since gas are, is so low these days, then that's um, more than enough. Entertainment is 200 Entertainment is, um, you know, it takes care of my nails and things of that nature. And I'm going to do 75 this month for my toiletries. And so that's going to be... I have to make sure there's no glare. So that's going to be, you know, super easy. 735. Okay. Now, let's get into these debts. Um, 
Well, hold on. First, let's see how much we have left. $23.90, which is my paycheck, minus $956.36, minus $735. Okay. So we have $699.42 left. Okay, you guys. Quick story time, right? One day I was on my way to work. This was like a couple of days ago. I'm on my way to work and I'm hearing this noise in my, like I'm hearing this noise in my car, right? As I'm driving, but it was, and it was behind me. I, I can't really explain it. It was behind me. It was like a buzzing noise, like behind the driver, like on the driver's side behind me. And I was like, what is that noise? What is going on? And all of a sudden I go up to stop at a caution light and then my car stalls out. I'm trying to crank my car, y'all, and it's not cranking. I'm in the middle of the street, in the middle of the lane, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So I put in my, my uh put on my hazard lights. And um, you know, so now I'm calling, you know, for help or whatever the case may be. And luckily someone stops and um and helped me like push my car off to the road. And there was like a gas station like right there, right? So he helped me push my car to the gas station and you know, I called USAA and they went ahead and um sent me a tow truck, right? So the tow truck came and um uh, towed my car to the dealership. Y'all. So Kind of okay when they did the diagnostics, which can we just say the diagnostic itself was like seventy dollars, Lord Jesus, so seventy dollars right off the bat, just for them to check my car out, so they look they finally called me to let me know because at this point, you know, I had to go back to work, so they called me to let me know what was wrong, and they said it was like a fuel um it was something going on with my fuel, like some kind of fuel valve, right. Long story short, because I had them add a food, uh, uh, oil change onto it too, because it was it was time for me to get oil change. I was like, just go ahead and throw that on there, right? So to get this fuel valve thing fixed and to get a um a oil change on top of the seventy dollar diagnostic, it came up, yo, it came up to a whopping. I'm just gonna go ahead and write this in right now, a whopping six hundred eighty seven dollars and three cents. But I just have to, I just have to take a deep breath real quick. So the reason that this is added to my debts is because I, guess what? I don't have an emergency fund. I depleted my emergency fund a couple of months ago and I have yet to, um, I have yet to, what's the word I'm looking for? Replenish. I have yet to replenish my emergency fund. Therefore, I'm stuck with paying off the six hundred eighty-seven and three cent, um, which I had to throw onto my Amazon card, which you guys already know is paid off, right? So, um, so yeah, that's how this happened. Um, and I know I do need to get my life together. I do need to go ahead and replenish that one thousand dollar emergency fund. But at the end of the day, right? Okay, let's say I did have that emergency fund, and I did use it to pay for this, you know, unexpected expense to get my car fixed, then I will still have to replenish it back to a thousand dollars, right? But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and subtract that. So six eighty seven zero three. So I'm left with twelve dollars and thirty nine cent to put towards my go rewards card. I should have put the total Okay, there we go. So the total is six ninety nine forty two. So yeah, you guys, um it just you know, hey, it's just one of those things, you know, it just it is what it is. Luckily I'm able to um I luckily I have this money that I can go ahead and pay that off very quickly. And I already knew that in my April budget that I was gonna have to um recover from that but you know hey it is what it is it's done and happened so now i got to go ahead and correct this so i can get back on um the the my straight and narrow path right 
So that's it. You guys, this is my April budget number one, uh, as well as the monthly layout that we did. And this is what we're going to work with. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And the notification bell so that you don't miss another video. Hit like. Go ahead and drop a comment because I like interacting with you guys in the comments. And thanks, you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you continue to support. Once again, stay safe out there, you guys. Um, you know, if you have to continue to stay in quarantine, do so. Just, just be safe, y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.